Last week, we drove from Colorado to Kansas. Today, we're fueling up through the highs and lows to complete our journey to Ohio. We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. We've been living in our motorhome while both working full-time for over two years. This season is all about building community on the road and sharing more behind the scenes of our RV life along the way. Okay, stop number one, day two. We are fueling up. We've been following Gas Buddy and this is the cheapest gas on the western half of Kansas. So we are fueling up for, what is it, does it say? 304 for diesel, which is pretty darn good from what we've seen in the last couple of months. And we're down to just about a quarter tank. So we're gonna fuel up and we're about an hour and a half into the day, yeah. 100 miles or so. Mm -hmm. um, so we have about 400 more miles across the rest of Kansas and hopefully we'll make it past Kansas City somewhere between there and St. Louis today, maybe a little further even. Do our best. So far so good. Oh, we have one of our TPMS sensors is reading dash dash dash. So we're gonna go uh, take a look at that. Yeah, we probably need to put the extender on. Let's go see. DQ's for sale. It's definitely still on there. Okay. Yesterday we had an issue with our front driver's side Jeep tire getting really hot. It was up to 140 degrees and we think it might have been the exhaust from the bus right there, kind of just like heating it up, uh, but so far today no problem. What you looking at? Starting it up, making sure everything's okay. She's good. All right, 93 gallons, 284, first fill up. Day two, stop two. We stopped east of Kansas City because we found diesel for 286. Yeah, get all the cheap gas we can before we're fully in the east coast. Trash blowing. We'll go grab that in a second. Um, Kansas City wasn't that bad. The 70 was at times one lane, um, which is weird. Uh, I didn't design the interstate system, so what do I do? Well, 
we're at Walmart. End of day two. Mm -hmm. We drove for pretty much 12 hours straight today, 7.30 a.m. Mountain Time to 8-ish p.m. Mountain Time. Yep. Crossed into Central Time. All of Kansas, we were like 20 miles at most, 10 miles. We were at the very first visitor center in Kansas, so we made it through Kansas, Missouri, and we're into Illinois. It is so humid. Yeah. <laughs> it's 90 degrees to here today, and we are just like not used to the humidity. Almost to family. Yeah, we think we're less than six hours, mm -hmm. so we're going to get it done in three days. Yep, we'll be there tomorrow. That'll be really nice. Yeah. made it 732 miles today. Pretty big. Day two. And this is only our third stop of the day. Yep. We stopped twice for gas, once because we needed it, and once because it was really cheap. Yep. <laughs> but um, this big day was something that, like, we'll get there earlier tomorrow. We've only got about five and a half hours, five hours and 45 minutes, I think. So. Yeah. We have gone 1,100 miles since we left Montrose. At noon yesterday. Yeah. So we've driven, according to Google, almost 11 hours of drive time since yesterday. And we're just overnighting at a Walmart that is about uh, an hour east of St. Louis. Yep. And we read on Campendium that there aren't really many rest stops. So this is like full of tractor trailer trucks which you don't normally see there are four other rvs here with us but mainly just tons of trucks yeah the area that's designated for rvs slash trucks it's is full. <laughs> full of just semis um and then the four actual rvs are over where on it's, the side <laughs> yeah borderline parking like we think it's legit we'll find out Day three. First hundred. Fill up number one. We should have pre off. <laughs> We're gonna do these one swipe at a time to need another card. We're officially in Ohio. This should be our first and only Ohio fill up. Fill up and pit stop of the day. Next stop? Uh, my mom's house. Yeah. So we'll get into northern Columbus and get settled for a week or so. Yeah.
Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. That's why it doesn't have to be like super smooth. Okay. 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 We are just docking trailers around in the driveway as we're trying to get out of our first smooch docking spot. Oh, I think you guys are longer. So when mooch docking, uh, just make sure to use blocks under your jacks or you could leave your friends or family with a nice hole in their driveway like we did. It's like four inches deep, three inches deep. It's pretty bad.